Radiant and Resilient is about mindset and faith to break paradigms and overcome challenges in our life. Because when the mind, body, and spirit are aligned, we literally radiate from the inside out. I'm Kay Vasquez. Let's dive in. Recently, I went to a faith-based retreat for female entrepreneurs, and let's just say it was called Revive for a reason. I literally felt so revived coming out of the retreat. It was exactly what my soul needed. And while there, so many things came up that I want to share in a couple different episodes, but one of the things that I want to share is a conversation that I had with another entrepreneur and she was sharing with me that she was just experiencing so much anxiety. It was something that she never had before. She never had anxiety, experienced it until all of a sudden something shifted in her life. A couple years ago when she started experiencing anxiety, she worked with someone at the time and discovered through gut testing that she had parasites. So she went on this whole supplement protocol to get of the parasites and then repeated the tests to show that all the parasites were gone. However, she continued to experience anxiety. So I thought it was so interesting because yes, anxiety can have many root causes and some people experiencing gut issues can definitely start to experience anxiety. So it kind of comes down to the question like, you know, what started first, the chicken or the egg, right? Did the anxiety start first and cause the gut issues or was it the gut issues that caused the anxiety? And this is something that I see in a lot of my clients. It's like, what really came first? But sometimes we don't know what came first because there's so many different factors, right? And I thought it was interesting because I had this, this question in my mind, like, I'm curious, what do people think? What comes first, right? And I even created a post, it's on my Instagram account. It's like, what came first? The stress, the imbalance, the anxiety. And it was interesting to see what people thought. Some people thought it was the anxiety that came first, which then created the stress, which created the imbalances, or it was the imbalances that came first that created the stress and the anxiety. And so what I truly believe and want to speak to is, is this anxiety piece, because I feel like anxiety is something that we experience when there's imbalances of the mind, body, and spirit. And a lot of us get really focused on the balances in the body. Like, oh, something's wrong internally. You know, like a lot of the times people think it's just a chemical imbalance in the brain. That's what Western medicine has led us to believe. So because of this chemical imbalance, let's put you on a medication, which is, I personally believe is not the case at all. Yes, we have chemicals released in our brain, but it's so much more than that. And the medications we're put on, like our body doesn't necessarily process them well because we have different genetics and enzymes that play a role. So what works for one person may not work for another, but that's a whole nother thing. So when it comes to anxiety, there's so many different root causes when it comes to the physical body. Yes, gut impacts anxiety because 80 to 90% of serotonin is produced in the gut. So if we have gut issues, we're not producing this neurotransmitter effectively, which serotonin is the calming neurotransmitter. It helps to keep us calm. It improves our mood. So if we're not producing enough serotonin, it can definitely be impacted if our gut is being impacted. So that's one cause, but also if we're deficient in certain nutrients like magnesium, magnesium is a very calming mineral. And if we don't have enough magnesium, it can cause that our hormones. So if our progesterone levels are low, that can create anxiety. If we have high cortisol, that can create anxiety. If we have high thyroid hormones, that can create anxiety. So there's so many things physically that's happening in the body that can contribute to the anxiety. But what's missing is diving into the mind and spirit because mentally, emotionally, anxiety is something we experience from the thoughts that we have, also an emotion that we feel in the body when our body is in survival mode and also spirit. Are we in alignment with who we are, who God created us to be? Because if we're not, we're going to experience that anxiety. It's our clue to tune in. So when I'm having this conversation with her, really starting to unpack like the anxiety piece, she had so many breakthroughs because as an entrepreneur, she recognized 
that yes, she has so much success in her business. Her business is doing well and it's doing well financially, which is incredible. But as we unpacked this anxiety piece, the mental and emotional side of things, she realized that the anxiety was coming from the need to do more because she felt like she wasn't doing enough. Even though she was already putting so much time and energy and effort into her business, it still didn't feel like it was enough. And it comes from this belief, I am not enough. And so we can start to unpack the thoughts and the pattern, the behaviors associated with that thought. Because I told her, I'm like, there's a pattern here. So even though like physically you healed the parasites, like there's still so much more going on. We need to identify the pattern because you're probably living in survival mode, which is why you're still experiencing the anxiety. And it starts with the thoughts and beliefs we have, which is resulting in the specific actions that we're taking, keeping us in that survival mode, causing us to continue experiencing anxiety. And so as we start to really unpack things, it came to light this, this belief this, that she had and things that she was hold, still holding on to that she had it processed and released physically in her body. She started to become aware of like, oh, this is probably the next piece and recognize she needed to make some changes. She needed to make some changes in her business, but also in her life to start to calm her body down because she's living in survival mode and it wasn't serving her. It was creating this anxiety. And so as we just like kept unpacking, kept unpacking the beliefs and the patterns and the behaviors and, you know, little areas in her life to make tweaks, the biggest takeaway, the last thing that I said to her was, what do you really want? And I asked her this because reflecting back on my journey, I had so much anxiety as well. I used to experience so much anxiety on a daily basis because I too was achieving more, doing more just so I could feel like I was good enough, just so I could feel like I was worthy. I was chasing after success, chasing after that validation. I was setting goals for myself and some of the goals I hit, some of the goals I didn't hit. When I hit the goal, I was like, amazing. I celebrated for a moment. It felt good, but then it didn't last. And then my focus was on the next goal and the next goal. Cause again, it never felt enough. And if I didn't hit it, I was defeated. I beat myself up. So it was just like, you know, this vicious cycle, right? Just like constantly seeking and achieving, doing more just so I could feel like I was good enough. And I realized that the goals that I had set my, for myself, there was a point in my business where I had set a financial goal and I didn't hit it. In fact, I did the opposite. Instead of hitting the financial goal, the business actually ended up in debt. And I was so defeated. I felt so powerless in that moment that I wanted to give up. But I'm so grateful that that happened because it really caused me to slow down. It really caused me to tune in, to really look at where was my focus? What was my intention? What what did I really want? Because I realized that the financial goal that I was seeking to achieve was really because I was after a specific feeling that I wanted in my life. And so I really want you to think like if you're experiencing anxiety or frustration or overwhelm, fear, whatever it is, we tend to put conditions on ourselves, And this is what she was doing as well. It's like we put conditions on ourselves, Like if I get this or when I get this, then I will feel blank. So what is that feeling you're really truly after? Because if you can identify that piece, that's when things start to shift for you. That's when things start to shift for me. And I recognize no matter what I was seeking outside of me, it was really to fill this void that I felt within me because I realized that's what I was really truly seeking that I thought I didn't have. And for me, what I was really truly seeking was to feel peace. All I wanted peace. So I thought that by hitting this goal would mean that I would be successful. And if I was successful, then I would have the financial freedom. Then I would get to do this and I would get to do that and have this and have that. And that would bring me the peace. But in reality, it wasn't going to bring the peace because I had to get radically honest with myself and realize had I actually hit that goal, would I really truly feel peace? Maybe for a moment but it would have been fleeting. And then I would have set off on achieving the next goal to again, try to feel that peace, right? Because I thought that only that peace that I was seeking could be filled by seeking things outside of me. 
So I asked her, what is the end goal? What is the outcome? What do you really want to feel? And you know what she said to me? She said, peace. (laughs) And it's so true. Like we all want to feel peace. We all want to feel love and joy and gratitude. And as I was coming out of the weekend and just sharing with my husband, all the beautiful takeaways, you know, we all are at our essence, true love, right? We're pure love. And according to David Hawkins, there's the map of consciousness and all the different emotions that we we experience have different frequency. The lowest is shame at 20 hertz. Fear and anxiety is at 100, to put it in perspective. And love is at 500 hertz. But you know what's greater than love? Peace. It's at 600 hertz. (laughs) So get radically honest with yourself. If you're experiencing anxiety, overwhelm, fear, doubt, worry, shame, guilt, whatever it is, what do you really want to experience? Because Deep down inside, I'm sure it's peace. We all want to feel that peace. And where are you looking for peace outside of yourself? Because when you realize like, okay, what it is is peace that I'm truly seeking. The next step is realizing that it's not going to come from outside of you, but it's already within you. The peace is already within you. And once I had that breakthrough, that realization, I was like, Oh, it's already went within me. And you know why it's in you? Because it comes from God. So as a believer, when we believe in God and accept Jesus as our Savior, we receive the Holy Spirit. We now have the Spirit of God within us. And through the Holy Spirit, we receive the fruits, which is love, peace, patience, kindness, etc. So recognize that. And it's even the Bible. God says, like, peace comes from me. <laughs> True peace comes from me. And I'm so grateful because that moment really humbled me when I was seeking after success and achievements and validation. It was because I really wanted to feel peace. And God allowed me to go through that, to learn the lessons I needed so I could turn back to him and recognize that the peace that I really wanted came from within, which came from God, which came from him. And so just surrendering everything, surrendering my life, surrendering the business, surrendering every area to him. Because when I am surrendered to him, letting go of control, especially the things that I can't control, he's going to fill me with that peace. He's going to fill me with that love. When I spend time with him, he's going to fill me with that peace, with that love that I was really, truly seeking. So I share this with you because... That was my biggest takeaway, reminding me of that and realizing that that's really what we're all truly after. And when we're not connected to that peace that's within us, that comes from God, it's going to create the physical imbalances in our body. It's going to create the mental, the emotional anxiety. It's creating imbalances in the mind, body, and spirit because we're not in alignment with that peace. We're not in alignment with God. And once we reconnect back to that peace, reconnect back to being in alignment with God and surrendering to his will, not our will, that's when we feel that peace. So I wanted to share that because I realized that's my goal. That's my purpose here in this life. Because to feel that peace, that pure peace that comes from within is like, it's, it's indescribable. The sense of peace that you feel internally is like unlike any other feeling that you're going to get outside of you. Our cells literally vibrate with this beautiful energy that is felt by others around us. And because our cells are vibrating from this place of peace, everything's functioning as it should. Everything starts to heal. We feel our best physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And that's how we become radiant and resilient is returning and reconnecting back to that peace. So if this resonates with you, if you're currently not feeling peace, I'm here to support you and guide you on that journey. Because yes, 
I've had experiences, different certifications, being a PA, Western medicine, functional medicine practitioner, et cetera, et cetera. But what I do is so much more because I understand that when it comes to healing, it's not just physical, it's mental, it's emotional, it's spiritual. It's identifying the imbalances, but recognizing the deeper root, which is being disconnected from peace. So if this resonates with you and you're ready to dive deeper, you're ready to reconnect with that peace, book a call with me. I'd love to chat with you and explore what this journey could look like for you and how to get you back to that peace. Because we are meant to live in peace. God doesn't want us to live from the state of fear and anxiety, overwhelm, whatever it is that we're feeling. He doesn't want us to live in that state. We're not meant to live in that state because that blocks us from everything that God wants to give us and provide for us. It blocks us from really stepping into our purpose and what we're here to do. And when we're connected to that peace, like life is amazing. Life is incredible. So if you're ready to dive in deep, book a call so you too can become your most radiant and resilient version of yourself.